Have you ever had a beer that's had a medicinal, antiseptic or TCP type flavour to it? What could that be? Well, come along, we'll find out today. So today's fault is chlorophenolic or chlorophenols in beer. So how's that always described by people? The main one you'll hear is medicinal or antiseptic or TCP, which is a chlorophenol itself, mouthwash or plasticky. They're the normal descriptors for this beer fault. So where can you detect it? Different faults show up in different parts of the beer. In this case, with chlorophenolic, you can find it in the aroma when you smell the beer. You will also be able to taste it in the flavour. And because of its astringency and its mouth peppery and feel, you'll be able to feel it in the mouth as well. So, what are the details of chlorophenolic or chlorophenols? Chlorophenols are formed by alcohol reacting with chlorine. That is basically it. If there's chlorine about, then alcohol can react with it. Phenols are just a type of alcohol. They consist of a benzene ring, a hydroxyl group, and different varying side chains. Phenols are mainly non-volatile, so once these are in your beer, they tend to stay in it. It's not likely to age out at all. And some people are genetically unable to detect some phenols, including chlorophenols. So don't be surprised if you find people who cannot taste this fault. What causes it? As we've already said, it's mainly caused by chlorine interacting with alcohol. One of the main causes is chlorine or chloramines from treated tap water. If you're brewing with untreated tap water just straight out the tap, that can be a cause. If you use chlorine-based sanitizers, e.g. VWP, or if you use chlorine-based bleach on your brewing equipment at all. All of these can be a source of chlorine that can react with the alcohol and cause this fault. How do you avoid it? Avoiding it's quite straightforward in this case. However, if you've got it, it isn't going away. Treat your brewing water. And this isn't just the water you use to mash in, it's strike water as well. You can use half a Camden tablet, which should treat between 5 and 10 gallons. The dose may vary depending how heavily dosed your um, water is with chloramines or chlorine. You can filter all your water through a carbon or active charcoal filter. Make sure you don't overdo the amount of sanitizer when you dilute it. More is not always better. And make sure that you use unchlorinated water to rinse everything off when you're using chlorine-based sanitizers. When is, this, when is chlorophenols appropriate in a beer? Quite simply, never. There is no beer style that this is appropriate in. So if you get it, you want to get rid of it. There you go, that's chlorophenolic. Just remember to subscribe and keep up, there's a lot more beer faults coming.